A great way of keeping up to date is by using your Schoology calendars. Let's start by looking at the Schoology course calendars. So go into your course and to get to the course calendar, you would go over to the upcoming area where there's a little icon of a calendar, click on it, and then you will see events associated with this course. So assignments uh, that have a due date, or a quiz that has a due date, or uh, discussion posts that have a due date would all appear on here. Your teacher may also have important events posted on the calendar, such as open house or field trip, or if you need to bring in something by a certain day. I can go and see more detail about the event, and in this case, it's a Schoology assignment, so I would click on that event, and I could see more details, but I could also go right to the item and see it in the course by clicking on View Item, so that's pretty handy. And you can see uh, by week, uh, day, or month view. Another way of accessing your Schoology calendars is to go to the calendar icon in the menu bar. So when I click on that, that will show me all of my calendars. So I'm going to click where it says All Calendars to see what I have. So I have a personal calendar where I can keep my own events, my personal things. I have these course calendars, so I'm in three courses. I'm in one group, so a group has a calendar as well. So if you are in a group and you have events, you might see some from there. And then the school and district has a calendar. You may or may not see events on this right now. I can um, just filter out and just see, you know, this particular course's items by clicking on the checkbox and then all the other just go away. I can change the color of the calendar by clicking on the square here and choosing a new color. And uh, what I want to show you is how to add your own events on your personal calendar. You only have permission to add to your own personal calendar. So to do that, I'm going to click on the date in the square. And then I'm going to title my event. It's going to be pretty boring, called event. I can have an end date. I can put a time in here, a description, and then that's it. And then I click on Create. If I wanted to edit or delete this, I would click on the event again. And I could go to View Item. And then I have a little cogwheel here. And this is where I could go to delete the item or to go back and edit and add more details. And that concludes this video about Schoology calendars. Thank you.